bone-crunching tackles and strength-sapping climbs. That can only mean one thing, it's Pyramid, and it's coming up next. Hello, my name's Marisa. I've battled my way through my heat, the finals, and set a new record on the Eliminator. The ultimate test is now before me, and I will succeed. It's not the tackles that get you down. It's the thought of having to climb all the way back up again. Zero. 60 seconds to get to the top. The first to hit the button gets 10 points. Our finalists tonight, Catherine and Marissa are up against our gladiators, Delta and Glacier. We're all set to play is Mike Whitney. Challengers, are you ready? Marissa has tried three times to reach the top. Are Delta stopped her every time. Hey. Catherine hey. hasn't reached the dizzy hey. heights of Pyramid yet, but it's a grand final and who knows what could happen. Marissa's staying low and Catherine goes straight up to Delta. Delta's just opening her arms and now tackles her and brings her down. Glacier has closed in on Marissa, and it's time to tumble her down. Yep, there they go, the roll to the bottom. Catherine determined to use her size and weight advantage. One-on-one -on -one with Delta, Delta wins out again. Marissa choosing to dodge Glacier. Catherine driving Delta higher and higher. Catherine not trying to dodge. She's determined to wrestle, and Delta says, come to me. Catherine does. The time's running down, and the challenges are going down. Just like Marissa right there against Glacier. A good throw from her. Just on 10 seconds left. Delta having words with the referee. I'm not sure what for. I think maybe Catherine's actually trying to throw her off the pyramid. You're not allowed to do that, Catherine. The whistle's about to blow. There it is, no point. Well, Marissa, it's final time and the pressure is on. You had a hard time steering clear of Glacier. Yeah, she's very big to get around, but we had a fun time rolling down. It was actually fun, was it? That's how you describe it? Yeah, it was quite good. This time I landed on top of her, which isn't usually to happen. Well, let me tell you, it looks pretty scary from where I stand. Unfortunately, no points for you, Marissa. Didn't quite make it up there. Catherine, puffing and panting. Well, we had a great tussle, actually. I think Delta, I think I'd like to recruit Delta for the Australian women's judo team, I tell you what. Um, I had a strategy to go straight up, take a tackle and come down or even hang on to Delta and try and throw, but she's too experienced. Delta, that was a pretty tough go there. It was, I love this game. And I think Catherine, isn't the first rule in judo you learn how to fall? She did it perfectly. <laughs> well, the scores aren't falling, but they're not rising either. Both challenges zero on Pyramid, and Catherine still has a five-point lead after three games. I've fought through three rounds and set a new record on every Eliminator. Tonight, the record will fall again. Well, the chase for points continues now with our male challengers ready to climb the Pyramid. Representing New South Wales in the red, it's Paul Reynolds. And from Queensland in the blue, Paul Stubbs. And our gladiators, Balkan and Hammer. Let's start this climb. Here's Mike Whitney. Challengers! Paul are you Stubbs ready? has made two attempts at scaling the peak. He was stopped both times. Paul Reynolds tried ready? mountaineering last ready? week and got ready? nowhere. He knows all about the pleasures and the perils of mountain climbing. Hammer straight down to Paul Stubbs and Paul Reynolds choosing to run and avoid contact from Vulcan like he did last week. Will it work tonight? Hammer is going hand to hand with the bricklayer. He's working overtime. Now he throws him away, but not too far. Paul Stubbs is still right there and has an opportunity, but Hammer goes to the top floor. Vulcan just shadowing Paul Reynolds everywhere he goes. Hammer takes off and throws Stubbs right down to the bottom step. Paul Reynolds going left and right. Vulcan's very vigilant up there. And you'd reckon Paul Reynolds is a little bit of a mountain goat. I've never seen Vulcan this patient before. The challengers cross over, trying to confuse things. Hammer just manages to sort himself out. And he dived, grabbed Paul Stubbs, and Paul Reynolds grabbed by Vulcan. They're both going to roll. Well, Paul Reynolds nearly rolled to the bottom. Hammer working over time on Stubbs. He's a big dive at the end. No points. Stubbsy, this is the third time you've been up there. Doesn't even look like you've got any tactics worked out. 
The rest of the guys hammer it. He's too good at it. Any tactics you have just fly out the window straight away. Yeah, yeah. You think you're doing all right, then you end up down the bottom. Paul, second time up there. I think you're a bit afraid of Vulcan, weren't you? No, that's not the case. I haven't seen Vulcan on the pyramid before. I thought I had a little strategy. I try and outrun him because he's a pretty big fella. Bit of a big fella there, so I thought, keep, keep him running. Wait till I see a weak spot and just climb up. But he's no vegetable, I can tell you that. He gets up, gets up and goes. Well, there ain't no mountain high enough for our gladiators. They keep the challenges scoreless. And Paul Reynolds still leads by six points, one to go.